Today I'll be testing the Greenworks 8 inch cordless pull saw. Let me show you some of the specifics. With no extension added, there is a measurement from the uh, tip of the blade to the throttle of five and a half feet. My reach is uh, seven feet high, so I could uh, easily cut anything that is about 12 and a half feet or lower. They come with the extension and it comes off as such. The uh, power goes through the center of the rod here. They have this two foot extension, which will give you two more feet for seven and a half reach to the tip of the blade to the throttle. You line up the little triangles here and slide it in. Tighten that down. And do the same to the top piece. Line up the uh, arrows. Slide it in. Tighten it down. And now you have two extra feet added for seven and a half feet from the tip of the blade to the throttle. So it's a seven foot reach. I have uh, 14 and a half feet. So if the branches are 14 and a half feet or lower, I could trim them. And uh, your blade here is eight inches long. Measuring this here, right up to here, it's right on eight to the tip. Comes with a, uh, a tool that you could use for removing this which holds on the bar. So this is a plastic cover here. You know, the, the oiler that injects onto the blade. This is the motor hooks up to the blade. And your bar tensioner, you can tighten up the bar using a screw kind of right, right in the front there. You'll have to loosen this up to be able to tighten the blade up, which extends the bar in or out a little bit. And then your oil, chain oil goes in here. The whole housing and everything is plastic. Cast aluminum or anything anywhere. It's all pretty much a plastic build. Teeth grabbers here are all plastic. You got a little hanging uh, hook here. Um, put it away. I found if you lay this down, have chino on here, it'll leak out um, over time. It's uh, leaked out into the box. So my guess is it needs a hang pointing up for storage if you have chain oil. The motor's built in the top here. The battery, which is on the end here, it comes with a 40 volt max battery. But it's kind of a very light duty battery. Get it off here. Um, the specs on it actually say 36 volts, 2 amp hour, or 72 watt hours. You can order these separately. 4 amp hour, and the specs on these is 40 volts, 4 amp hour, 160 watt hours. If you want to get some extended runtime using it, these uh, little nicer batteries they carry also have a USB port that you could plug in there for charging USB devices. A massive power pack <laughs> when you're not cutting limbs. On the throttle side here, you got your safety. And then another safety here, you push in. And then uh, that's a kind of a rubber uh, lined hand grip here. Has a little foam pad there. Let's get to it. I'm gonna, uh, Testing this out on uh, a bunch of uh, queen palms, cutting off uh, some of the dead uh, palm fronds. See how it does. So I'm gonna put a little oil in this reservoir here. Uh, the first time I filled it up, and when I put it away, it all leaked out ahead of the side. So I'm gonna store it uh, standing up. Um, now on. This is this is a chainsaw bar oil. 
There we go. There you go. All filled up. And for the last pump run, number 42.
So I did a total of nine trees here. And this is the finished result. Trimmed them up pretty good, so I don't have to go right back up there again. So the uh, pulse salt did quite well. Check the battery usage here. We still have uh, three bars on it out of the four. So it still has plenty of battery life. This uh, smaller battery is ultra light. has no weight to it at all. It's all literally cut through uh, those palm fronds uh, like butter. It took no effort at all. These palm trees are about all 20 years old. They're about uh, 16 to 22 feet tall. I'd say that 15 foot ladder and this 14 and a half foot reach, that's pretty much the 22 foot tree was pushing the limits of what I could reach comfortably. I'd need a taller ladder or something different to go much higher. It's pretty easy to manage the pole saw. It's pretty light. Motor at the top of the pole isn't too uh, heavy so it doesn't get too out of balance. So here's your battery charger. It's just a typical charger. It has a, a few uh, different signs here. This is the battery here. Slides right in. And you can see it blinking now. 